out here in this wind farm in rural Iowa. Quite a common sight out here. And right there, there is a victim of the, I'm sorry about the wind, uh, there's a victim of the storms that came through here last Tuesday. You can see the entire nacelle is completely burned out. One of the blades is hanging off there. I was hoping to drive up closer to it, but they blocked off this access road, presumably to get people not to go up there. A lot of these other wind turbines are working just fine. There's one over there that's not running that has some pretty obvious burn marks on it. I think those were there prior to the storm. This one has some marks on it, but that one's running fine. There's another one over there that's actually just shutting off that has some burn marks on it as well. This one right here is running just fine. I don't know if you can hear it over the wind, but you can hear the whooshing sound of the blade going past the tower, or the blades going past the tower every time it rotates um, around once. It's hard to think about, but those blade tips are actually moving over 100 miles an hour on most of these wind turbines when they're running. You can see lots of them all over here gracefully harnessing one of the most abundant natural resources in the world. There's actually some more uh, wind turbines, if I can get it to focus here. There's some more wind turbines on the other side of the interstate over there. I'm coming home from uh, a Story County test today and thought I would stop and show you this one because I noticed it and thought that's certainly something that you don't see every day.